mum. Yes, darling. I just want to say you make me want to. You're not about to. David Stratton, son of Roscoe Stratton is here. As is Romana Stratton, daughter of Lizzie Stratton. Romana. David. Welcome to your new home. We've missed you. Make yourselves at home. Thank you kindly. Romana Stacy Stratton, you're my daughter, and David is my nephew. I am thrilled to have you both here. David Roscoe Stratton, you're my son, and Romana is my niece. I too am thrilled to have you both here. And we love you both so much. Hey, Lizzie and Roscoe S. thought I'd pop into. Well, well, well. Bless my soul. Romana S. and David are here. Lily, how lovely to see you again. Goodness how you've grown. Of course, we're 22 now. Last time we saw you, you were just little children. Romana S. and David, you're here. We've only just moved in, Romana and Nemo. Who's the new one? I'm Nemo's daughter, Amber. It's lovely to meet you, Amber. I must warn you, she can be quite naughty at times. No, I can't. Amber Laura Jane Barrett, you're grounded for a week. How dare you lie like that? Hello there. Romana S. and David are here. We've come to live with our parents. Great to see you both again. Romana S. and David. You two moved in with your parents at last. That's right, Mason. This is our daughter, by the way. Her name is... Laura. Okay, I'll be the bread and you can be the knife. Mom, don't come up with these stupid sayings. Well then, Laura Rose Barrett. Don't cut across me, then I wouldn't have to. Now, you are grounded for two weeks for speaking to me like that. How dare you? I see the young Barrett girls are still true to form. Afraid so. Roman Ness and David. How wonderful to see you again. Thank you, Olivia. I'm her daughter Rose, in case you losers are wondering. Rose Amber Barrett, what did I tell you before we left the house? I'll be grounded if I'm naughty. Well Rose Amber Barrett, it looks like you didn't listen to your mother's warning. You do not insult mine and Roscoe S's children like that. You have a lot to learn, you naughty girl. Mum, calm down. That's it. Rose Amber Barrett, you are grounded for three weeks. How dare you insult Remina S and David like that. Naughty girl. You are also having nappies on. Hello, Romana S and David. How great to see you, you two, Millie and Molly. We live here now. We heard. How was your journey? It was very safe, thanks. We understand you have a little brother now, Millie. I do. His name's James. We should go now, as we have a ton of homework. Romana S. and and David. We heard you'd moved in with your parents. We have indeed. And Lizzie, are we to take it that this is your son? Correct. David and Romana Stratton, this is my son. James Charles Barat Jr. Excuse him, he's shy. Bless his little heart. Hey, Romana S. and David. Welcome home. Thank you, Roscoe B. We are new in the neighborhood. 
Not to worry, you'll get used to it. You certainly will, Ramana S. and David. Our two resident immortals. Mr. Multiple and Miss Sunshine. Wonderful to see you at- David, my sweet cousin, what do you say we go out today? I say let's go out. What are you two up to? We are just on our way out. You're more than welcome to join us if you want. That's very sweet of you both. However, I have housework to do. I'd love. Dad, I see you need it, as your Ted Dubs have gone. Off you three go, and have fun. Housework, let's get cracking. I'm looking after Rose today. If she misbehaves, she will be put in time out, Mum. Olivia, you made me jump. Are you sure you want to look after Rose for a couple of hours? She's in a naughty mood. Naughty. No, shut up. That's out of the question. Rose Amber Barrett. You do not speak to your mother like that. On top of that, you do not use foul language in my house. You are a very naughty girl. So really now, you ought to look in the mirror and see for yourself. How dare you speak to your grandmother like that? That is very rude and disrespectful. Manners and respect. You don't even know them even if it hits you square inches their eyes. That does it. You get to the corner this instant. You naughty girl. No you two lie down, I'm going to put nappies on you. Nappies? Of course, that's exactly what you need. Come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, now. No, I'm going to tie you both down, while you got your nappies put on. I heard that. Rose Amber Barrett. How dare you threaten your mother and grandmother with nappies? Looks like you need nappies as well, as you look like you need. To put you a nappy on, now. It's okay ladies. The naughty girl has been dealt with. Thank goodness you're here Shelby. Mum needs help if Rose is here, and lots of it. I'll be back to pick Rose up at three. Where is the naughty madam? I've put her to bed for being naughty upon arrival. Thank you, sweetheart. It may interest you to know that. Molly, you're not about to tell tales, are you? Tell tales? Why would I do a thing like that, Molly? I do sincerely hope you're not being naughty too. Hold on just a second there Shelby. I think Molly might have something important to tell us. In that case, I'll listen. Rose Amber Barrett, get your naughty bottom in here, right now. I caught this one sneaking out and sabotaging the Stratton's fun. Rose Amber Barrett, I have a bone to pick with you. What type of bone is it, the femur? This is no time for silly jokes. You are in very deep trouble. And Liz may Stratton, but your nose out of it. Excuse me, Rose Amber Barrett, I think that under the circumstances, I have every right to be involved. How dare you speak to me like that, this concerns my brother, my daughter and my nephew, and what concerns them, concerns me. How dare you think it's appropriate to sabotage their fun. Come with me Liz may Stratton, and I will put your nappy on, now. No you won't. You will stay away from my family, Rose Amber Barrett, that's what you will do. So, when are you and Roscoe getting married? You're clearly so in love with him. That's it. I am calling the police and having you arrested. So really now, I have already called the police, and they're coming to arrest you, Liz May Stratton. What? How dare you do this to my cousin? You get a clean nappy on, and back to bed. Now. How dare that naughty little girl call the police on me. Lizzie May Stratton, you're under arrest for pedophilia and rape. You're going down for a long time. Excuse me officer. This is Lizzie's father speaking from the afterlife. You get those handcuffs off my daughter and leave her alone. Come on, now. Not my niece you don't. How dare you think it's appropriate to arrest her? You're going to jail whether you like it or not. But that was my dad and uncle calling from the afterlife. They're angry with you for arresting me. Mental as well were you? We'll get you sorted out. Jail. Now. I am not going to prison. Not for something I haven't done. You are going to prison for something you have done. And you are having nappies on. You're not taking my mum away. She's done nothing wrong. Let her go, now. Come here, and I'll arrest you too. I don't think so. You will let my arm go this instant. That's it. You are all under arrest. If you think you're going to lock my family up, 
you can think again. Grow your sad old butt up, or nappies. I might have overactive tear ducts but they are very powerful, so let them go, or I will deal with you. You can join your family in prison, and you are all having nappies on, so let's go, now. My plan to get the Stratons arrested has worked. So, it was your naughty plan that got the Stratons arrested was it? Darren and Sarah must be turning in their graves. Rosanne Barrett. Look at me, right now. How dare you think it's appropriate to get my son, daughter, grandson and granddaughter arrested. You have a lot to learn, you naughty girl. If you try anything like that again, I will flash you.